I just always really love the idea of robots that go exploring places, whether that's on Earth or on other planets or moons. And I'd really like to be a part of something like that in the future. Mates 2016 International ROV Competition launched student robotics teams into orbit around NASA's Neutral Buoyancy Lab. Whoa, can we just take a moment? That's the ISS and the NBL. NBD. After passing a dogged asteroid field of customs evaluations, who's a puppy? An astronomical army of amateur aquanauts was astounded and awed by the arena. It's something you would never think true, that it would come true in your wildest dreams that you would be here, but once you get here, it's unbelievable. The legacy of the NBL is like so inspiring because you know astronauts trained here and you've had, you have the ISS modules in there and just to be a part was a really great experience. I don't think I've grasped it yet. It's amazing the fact that that's the International Space Station. We're all excited. Even the tether man got distracted from the station. I kind of forget it's there when you look up. Wow, there's a space station in front of me. <laughs> and I like cannot explain how cool it is to be here. Befitting of the venue, this year's competition had reached truly cosmic proportions. It's a record year for us. We have 69 teams from 16 countries participating. That's pretty incredible. As the judges and industry professionals made the rounds, many were blown away by the light years of progress these vehicles had made. Sorry, but I don't know how you did that, uh, that vehicle and all those controls. That's amazing. You um, that? Yeah, so it's, uh, yeah. there's actually two uh, lock knots in there. With the ROVs today are a lot more incredible than what we built back uh, in 2003. The technology available to people has really gotten a lot better. There are 3D printers. Our core nozzles right here were 3D printed. 3D printed. 3D printed. 3D printed. 3D printed. 3D printed. As you can see, we got a lot of 3D printed material on our OV this year. But also, there's a really great online community of uh, people who can share ideas on the internet. Uh, Self learning is what's the yeah. key actually. YouTube. <laughs> YouTube <laughs> <laughs> tutorials. And I'm really excited to see what this next generation of uh, engineers and entrepreneurs can do because it's, I mean, from what I've seen here at MADE, it's going to be incredible. With systems prepping for launch, it was time for that classic Houston countdown. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and start. Good luck. Lift off. rocking through their missions, everything appeared to be going swimmingly, but then almost as if someone had jinxed it. If you have a non-functioning vehicle, I know that's not going to happen to any of you out there, all your vehicles are going to work perfectly in the water. Houston suddenly had quite a few problems. Stress. Yes. Yeah. Just did a lot of problems with power, thrusters, cameras, it just seemed to all fall apart. Having spare parts overall would be a good thing. During competition, our some of the improvements happen to malfunction. And we were unlucky. We got a problem about our robotic arm, converted our burns. And also we got the problem about the cameras. We got a power problem again. The cable is started to lose their natural buoyancy. It was not that much good for us. See, we lost one of the cameras uh, the day before first uh, first run. We lost our second camera at our first run. Yesterday we uh, <laughs> snapped the video connections in the back of the TV, so we're up until 11 last night trying to fix that. After each competition, 
There's always so many things that were like, oh my gosh, we're not doing that again. But even after sleepless nights and alien circumstances had left many battle-weary and worse for the wear, teams embraced each black hole as an event to broaden their horizons. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do when I go to college, but for me, I definitely like the troubleshooting of the whole thing. That's really fun to do. You know, it provides you to think critical things. You have to use your engineering skills, math skills, programming skills. Programmers, electronics and machinists is all, all thrown in. That's why we do this competition. We get to do everything. Uh, that's, that's the point. That's why we are doing this. There are so many people from our college that go for other competitions, but I don't think anything stands even close to, uh, to the MATE competition. It, it really uh, you know, pushes you to work harder and, and uh, broaden your knowledge and your, the spectrum of your work. I I'm an electrical engineer, but I never really considered kind of the whole Rob experience and exploring things under the ocean, a place where you can't easily get humans to. So this opened up a whole new application that I had never thought about before. And I just broadened my horizon substantially. And the, the exhaustion is worth it and everything, yeah. So I think if you want to try or, uh, something new, go for the ROV competition. Pressures at the core of the MATE program had transformed the students into the newest elements of the robotics universe. And like a supernova, they were ready to explode onto the scene. This competition is almost like you replicate as if you're your own company. So we're going from being juniors, going into senior year, we start this project and we don't know anything about this and all of a sudden we feel like a professional company. The company aspect of MATE has really inspired us. We're making our own company to gain entrepreneurial experience. Um, how old are you? I'm 17. But perhaps most inspiring was to see the competitors embody the values of the ISS and the NBL. In the former, in collaborating across geopolitical divides for the greater good. The game shows support for the folks who can come to the MBL. Everybody's here, everybody's participating, everybody's doing really well. So it's, it's often hard to be happy on behalf of someone else, but I mean, I really feel it here. It's a win-win for the folks who couldn't come to the MBL and for us. And the latter, in understanding that alien worlds can be found right here on Earth in the inner space of planet ocean. We know more about our outer space than we do our own oceans. That's basically the bigger driving factor for all of us. Why we chose the ocean engineering department is because of that. I think it's really cool working with the robotics on the ocean floor. It's so weird, we go to the moon, right? Because we see it and we're like, hey, you know, we should check that place out. And then uh, we have the ocean right in front of us. We see it every day and then we still don't know. Inside this monument, the exploration of our pale blue dot thanks to applied theory and engineering, the merit of MATE's mission was unmistakable. So I definitely owe my career path and where I am to the MATE program for introducing me to the concept of an ROV and giving me a place to make mistakes and learn engineering and the whole process. So now I'm here a decade later and we're using these ROVs that my company builds to film the MATE competition. I couldn't be more proud. You know, in school, you are learning the technical things. Not so many people know how to, they, how to do it, but the point is to, to do it. So yeah, it's, so, it's a big experience for us. This amazing competition was made possible by the following lovely people and organizations. Give them a hand while this scrolls. And we will see you all for the 2017 MATE International ROV competition. In the meantime, you've all made this narrator one proud Earthling.